All right, all right. LDWMMAC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Man, guy, all I got to say is what a fight. What a fight. Aspen Ladd, Sajar Eubanks. Man, the coach is going to tell you all about this fight right now. Me personally, okay, I thought that Aspen Ladd was going to come in here and blow Sajar Eubanks out of the water. That's what I thought. Boy, was I so wrong in this bout. Sarge Eubanks got dog, y'all. Sarge Eubanks is a dog in that octagon. And I'm talking about that she's got a never say die attitude. That's just that's just how that is. You know, the first round, Sarge Eubanks immediately, man, she put the jab in Aspen Lab face. And she pieced Aspen Ladder. She was piecing Aspen Ladder up to death. And I said, God, look at Sarge. You know, I saw Sarge, man, doing a good job of catching and countering. I saw Sarge doing, doing a good job of actually bobbing and weaving, slipping punches. You know, and, and she kind of rolled the kick, man. And I was like, okay, Sarge Eubanks, like, she's on it today. She's definitely on her game. And um, Aspen Ladd couldn't deal with that stand-up, man. She couldn't do it, man. Sarge Eubanks, you know, I'm, I, she's, she's a better stand-up. Her stand-up's better than Aspen Lads. Guys, that's just how it is. And then, you know, Sarge got some testicles. Then Sarge took this fight to the ground in round one. Um, Aspen Lad, though, you know, Sarge was trying to get, you know, some position. She tried to ground and pound Aspen. Aspen wasn't having it. Aspen Lad wasn't having it. Aspen Lad changed position, and then she started getting her shots off. Uh, Sarge Eubanks did a good job, man, of getting back to her feet. And I think the last maybe 15 seconds of the round, Sarge Eubanks, man, she stood up. She started piecing Aspen Ladd up. Aspen Ladd went, and, and she put Aspen Ladd back on the ground. And, man, I'm going to tell you something, man. I think had that round would allow, if that round would have been longer, if Sarge would have had more time, Sarge was real close, man, to finishing Aspen Ladd in that first round. It, I mean, Aspen was on the ground, and Sarge started landing like these crazy shots, man. And you can see Aspen Ladd head bounce off the canvas. I said, God, dog. Aspen Ladd getting up PG-13 channel whoop. Round two was all Aspen Ladd. Aspen Ladd, you know, I think Aspen Ladd made an adjustment. Her adjustment was... I'm not finna stand here and get punched in my face. Cause that's what, you know, Aspen was trying, man. But it's like, her stand up to me is very basic. Like, she holds her guard up. She walks straight ahead. And she'll try to throw a jab off of her high guard. And it's like, Sajar Eubanks, you know, it's just like, you know, she was taking angles on Aspen Lad. And I was shocked, man, that Sarge Eubanks was using so many angles with Aspen Lad. And man, Aspen Lad couldn't do nothing with it. So what did Aspen do? Aspen got this fight to the ground. Okay, Aspen Lab put this fight on the ground, and Aspen Lab, man, I mean, she was going crazy with submissions, man. I mean, she was going crazy. At one point, I thought that, you know, the rear naked choke, I thought Sarge Eubanks was out of there, man. But you know what, guys? I'm impressed. Sarge Eubanks, her submission defense is on point. It, it, I mean, her submission defense is on point, man. Like, Everything Aspen Lad tried to do, Sajar Eubanks got out of there, man. And I'm saying that rear naked choke, man, it was sunk in. It was up under the neck. Everything was secure. Sarge Eubanks got out. She got out of there. Now, round three, man, round three was up for grabs because I had it one to one, man. It was one to one. And uh, round three was up for grabs. Sarge Eubanks, I thought that Sarge Eubanks was winning the battle of the stand up. And I, I kind of thought to myself, why is Aspen Lad choosing to stand with Sarge? It wasn't working. Uh, Aspen was getting her jab in, and she would uh, throw a couple of short elbows and catch Sarge. But for the most part, in my opinion, I felt like Sarge Eubanks had the more clear, effective strikes in round three. And it just it just seemed like Sarge was more in her element, man. And then Sarge, man, like Aspen Ladd threw this like crazy hook, man. Sarge, like, she rolled up under the hook, and then she rolled back up under, and then she threw a beautiful uppercut, man, and caught Aspen Ladd slipping, man. I'm talking about it was a, that uppercut was beautiful. And it's like, you know, Aspen Ladd was like, okay, I mean, she didn't know what to do, man. So Aspen Ladd tried to get the fight to the ground. She backed up Sarge Eubanks into the cage. And when Aspen Ladd figured out that, well, you know what, this fight ain't going to the ground, then Sarge Eubanks and Aspen Ladd, they closed the show. They started going mano y mano. They got into, they, look, they got in each other's chest and they start brawling. I'm talking about brawling. But I still think Sarge Eubanks got the better of the exchanges while they were standing. That's what I thought. Um, the judges, I think the judges, they need to be slapped for this, man. Um, basically, the judges had a unanimous decision, man. And I, I didn't feel I, I didn't feel that's what it was. Me, I had to fight a draw. I thought the fight was a draw. The first time I watched this fight, 
I kind of edged it out because I thought Sarge landed more clear effective strikes in the third round and in the first round. So I had it two to one. But then when I watched it again, I said, you know, okay, this fight could have been a draw. Okay. Um, I thought round three, they both did some good work. I just, I still thought Sarge to me did more. I thought she did more and I felt like she should have probably won this fight. The fight could have went either way. Okay. I'm not going to come on here and argue with anyone on who you thought won. Me personally, I thought Sarge won the fight the first time. And then I, I, I'm in between Sarge and a draw. But they had Aspen Land, like some, one judge had it with 30 to 26. And I'm like, okay, wh where the hell did they get that score from? You know, and I just, I think, you know, I just think Sarge, she should have, you know, tried to do everything she could to get it out of these judges' hands. You know, both of them could. It's just the judges was probably, they were a little bit more pro Aspen Lad versus Sarge Eubanks. I don't know what these judges were watching. They didn't look at any of the good body work that Sarge did. They, they didn't look at anything, man. So, you know, congrats to Aspen Lad. You know, hey, you know, it was a close fight, man. This fight was close, okay? It wasn't, you know, if you look in the articles and in the news the next day, you know, the media will give you the impression that this fight wasn't close. This fight was close. Aspen Lad, damn, they got finished in the first round. And in the third round, I felt like she just lost that shootout, man, with those hands. Sarge Eubanks, man, she's improving. I, I really, I felt as if Sarge, man, she gave Aspen Lad all she can handle. And again, Aspen Lad can't finish Sarge Eubanks. This is the same Aspen lad that finished Tanya Evinger, okay? The legendary Tanya. She finished Tanya Evinger. She can't finish Sarge Eubanks, man. So, shout out, man, to both these ladies for putting on a show, man. You guys tell me what you think. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. I'm done.